and welcome along and welcome back to Felsbrunn here for our Seasons from Scratch series. Um, now, uh, it's day five of autumn. Um, we are still need to get our soybeans finished. So we've got a field and a half of soybeans. Uh, if you, uh, yeah, over here on field 18. In fact, it's more than a field and a half. 26 and 18, both ready to harvest. Uh, so we need to get them done. However, we do still have wet crop. So we've had two days of pretty hard rain. Um, it means it's going to take a while, even for in this nice sunshine, our crops to dry out. Uh, so we have got another job to do today. And namely, if we head over here, uh, it's these. So we have two and a half pallets full of eggs here. Uh, and that is... Oh, actually, if we go into seasons here, uh, it is the best day of the year to sell eggs. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Hopefully, that's going to get us out of our 17,000 uh, euro debt, uh, which would be absolutely fantastic. So let's jump in our little tractor here. I'm going to hook this up to our trailer. Uh, and part of the reason why we're in this debt, of course, is because we've, we've got this rental uh, stuff going on. So if we can knock out a huge amount of the soybeans today, that would be useful. Soybeans, as we've discovered, of course, uh, don't. their best price is actually midsummer. So we're not going to be able to make money off our soybeans this year. Uh, we will make money off them. We'll make a lot of money off them eventually. But at the moment, they're not in a, we're not in a position where we can make cash off the soybeans, unfortunately. Uh, it's, it's one of those things which, when you're planning seasons, depending on how quickly you want to make your money off your crops, you need to check those dates that they're going to be sellable for the best price. Uh, because as we've discovered here, uh, that is not always uh, when you think it is. Right, we need to get the lights on here because we've got to get under these and can we slot in here yeah there we go so that is the first one we, of course we got this uh this rogue box uh on the top as well we might be able to put those in the back of uh, our mercedes here our mb track but we'll get the uh, the other three we will just load on the trailer should be fine uh we'll fit three along so let's put that down. Ooh. Now we're on a little bit of a slope here, which makes it slightly more difficult to unload. Uh, but we've got it. There we go. Uh, now, as somebody uh, said last time as well, oh, it's already dropped another box. They must be really prolific at the moment. Uh, yeah, as somebody said recently, actually in the comments of, uh, of the last video, um, we had, uh, we may have some fertilizer in our solid fertilizer tractor. So if that's the case, uh, then uh, that's really good. That's really awesome. Uh, because what that will mean is we can go and use that uh, to earn some money. So here we've got our extra box sitting on the top of here. Wow, okay. We'll load this from the back, I think. Careful not to lose our extra box. Ah, oh, we've lost our extra box. Ooh, let's not run over that. We don't want to lose those eggs. Let's grab that and we'll put those just in the back of our MB track here. There we go. Perfect space for them. And load them up. Uh, now, it is, it is annoying that we can't just... Uh, the older version of these allowed you to uh, to place the boxes on the top and it would load the egg boxes into them. Uh, these ones, you, uh, you place them there and it spawns into it. So we've got, we do have that issue at the moment. Now that egg box we've got on there looks like it's gonna fly off. Uh, again, this one is not very full either. We need to move it out of the way in order to get ourselves this last pallet. Now I wonder if we can strap these two. Oh, it's already dropped another one. Uh, I wonder if we can strap these two onto the back of here. No. Okay. So yeah, we do have this thing where we're selling these eggs off early. It is the best price day. 
we are going to have a uh, at least one egg box sitting down there ready for us. Let's put these on top. Or at least stack them on the side. This should strap these down as well. Don't think there's a massive amount. That's 100%. Don't think there's a massive amount in here. There we are. Yeah, that that does not have many in. That does this. Does not tell me, but we'll leave that there. Right, so strap these down. And you can see it's gone around those boxes there. That's pretty cool. Excellent. Let's get these off to the XL point. And we want to get the best price point. I think on here, there is only the single egg price, uh, single egg purchase point. So hook that all up. And, uh, and yeah, we're good to go. Is our Excel point so we have an Excel point I don't know what is the Excel point on here here we go uh, across here there's eggs oh wow we have several Excel points we want Port Northwest that's where we're going Port Northwest is up yeah is up that way so let's head up there and uh, and get these eggs sold uh, this is really awesome. Really pleased with what we've got on here. Now, in case you're wondering where IHTZ is, it's over there in that field. Uh, it's currently just uh, completing off the contract that we had going last time. Uh, so the plowing contract that we were working on. It's... Uh, it's quite good that it's uh, going through that. That's worth about 7000 to us, I think. Uh, it's probably going to cost us a couple of thousand to get that job done uh, by the end of it. But the uh, the plough that we've got on there, of course, is wider than the one you get with that contract. So it should make us a fair amount of money. Uh, the other thing we've got is, um, of course, we've got these in here. These hopefully are going to make us a decent amount of cash. And, uh, and yeah, I think we've got a harvesting contract kicking about as well. Um, but, of course, we'll have to use our own harvester for that. And we will see how much that costs us. If that, if that looks like it's going to tick us over another hour uh, with the combine, uh, then it's probably going to be a case of avoiding that. And avoiding doing that. Uh, this is Port Northwest. I'm presuming our egg cell point is the same cell point as everything else around here. Uh, we're looking at making a decent amount of money off each of these. So how much have we got in each one of these uh, crates? We've got, uh, we've got two and a half a thousand litres, just under two and a half thousand litres. Uh, so uh, yeah, we should make a decent amount. Let's, uh, let's bring it up and see how much we make. Yep, there we go. That is picking all of those off. Wow. And we've got one egg box that hasn't been uh, done. There we go. 21,652 euros for that. Uh, really awesome, that is. Uh, we are now 3,000 uh, euros in the black, which is fantastic news. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, hopefully, if we can get rid of the combine today, I'm not saying we will. We've got a lot of stuff to do with that combine. And, uh, and it may be that actually the whole thing doesn't dry out today. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this back to the yard. We're going to go and check on whether we have any solid fertilizer in our uh, spreader. And if we do, we'll go and see if we can do some contracting with that. We need about 10,000 to offset uh, the cost of the combine for the day, I think. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we'll do that. It is annoying that we've got to have the combine sticking around and I want to get rid of that as soon as possible. Um, 
the unfortunate thing is we never really know what the weather was going to do over the last few days. Not with a degree of accuracy where I'm going, oh, I can get rid of the combine and it not cost me a fortune to, to release it. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, we're going to keep on going with this. Uh, we'll see where we are in a minute. And hopefully uh, this wet crop is going to disappear in the not too distant future. And we can actually get some soybeans harvested. Here we are, back at our yard. We'll pull in. Uh, the chickens seem to have enough food and everything, so that's all good. Uh, and what we're going to do uh, is... I'm going to approach this slightly differently. So we are going to pull up here uh, so that we can access our, uh, our egg pallets here. But I'm only going to put them one at a time in the area. So I'm going to let them fill up. Uh, and then we put the next one in, and then we put the next one in, and that is going to be the best way for us to do it. Make sure, making sure that each one gets full as we do it. Now I want to be careful because I don't want to. We've got our crops in here, all uh, planted. We don't want to run all over those. There we go. And we do need to line this up. There we go. Let's unhook these. We've got two on the back here like that, and then one on sideways. But yeah, this first one we're going to put this uh, straight onto the uh, the area, and we'll put this at the back. And it seems like, yeah, once a year, basically, uh, we uh, we empty our egg pallets. Uh, so the others, we're going to stack just the other side of our bales there. Now, of course, we're saving those silage bales at the moment. We want to go and sell those at the, uh, at the BGA. But we don't have enough money at the moment to buy the BGA. Uh, if we did, that would be fantastic. But, uh, yeah, at the moment, we don't. Um, I'm very tempted to sell our, once we've harvested our two fields, to sell those and see if we can buy something a little bit closer to our farm. So uh, we've got field, we actually have a, a contract at the moment on field 23, uh, which we're waiting to harvest. Now I wonder if the best thing for us to do actually would be to sell our other two fields and buy field 23. I don't know how that would affect uh, our setup uh, because as I said, we have a contract running on it at the moment. Uh, would we be able to buy it and uh, turn that contract, would that turn that contract into um, ours? Quite possibly. Um, but that would give us a field much closer to where we are now um, and much more accessible to us. Uh, it is a field that is slightly bigger than field 18 uh, and field 26. So uh, yeah, is it going to be is it going to be something that's even affordable? And if we sold, would we have to sell two fields to do it? And then would it be better maybe to go and buy field? Could we buy field 30 as well and make our farm all the way along here um, exactly what we want? So, uh, yeah, we, we're going to have a look at that, I think, in a moment. Let's hook this back up, and then we can have a look at that. We still have the wet crop icon on, so uh, we're going to have to check what we've got in our uh, solid fertilizer, see if we can actually spread something. Uh, first, though, I'm going to come over here and see how viable that plan is. So, field 23 here, that is a huge area, 446,000. Uh, yeah, we, we don't come up to half of that, trying to buy that. It would be useful to us. Uh, the other area there at 181, we could swap 18 for that. But downside to that is that field 20 is a vastly smaller field. Um, yeah, and, uh, and that doesn't work either. It's rather amazing. The field prices around here are rather large. We could sell field 18 and buy field 30. We have the same problem in that field 18 is much bigger than field 30. So there's no re not really any um, big advantage to doing that 
other than doing a field flip and getting the uh, getting the crop that's sitting uh, in in that field. Uh, you know, we would uh, we would then make money from that. Uh, is the thing, of course, uh, rather than just making money off the uh, off the contract. But it's I'm not a fan of doing that. I don't like field flipping in uh, in Farnsworth. To me, that's a, a vastly unrealistic thing. You wouldn't just buy fields with crops in, harvest them, um, and then uh, and then sell them on. Um, and then buy another field with crops in. It's just, yeah. To me, that's massively unrealistic. Right, let's reverse this up. Like so. Perfect. Uh, and then we want to drop it off. Now, I think that this is going to look ridiculously big on this tractor. Uh, and I think we're going to drop off our... Uh, front loader before we actually went and did any work but I just want to hook it up and see if there is anything in it there is it's pretty for the fertilizer okay so that is going to be our plan it is full of fertilizer we can make some money fertilizing with that so let's drop off this because we do still have the wet crop icon uh, I don't know how feasible it's going to be for us to make money today off uh off our crops so disconnect that back this up disconnect that there we go so we don't have any weight on the front of this which is something that worries me and this is this looks like a huge piece of kit to have on the back of here good no connect that up connect those up connect that up now, will this run this is the next question I've got. Let's just see what the uh, power requirements of this piece of kit are. Uh, and I think this might even be a least piece of kit. Uh, it is very much. We need, to, we need to be very careful about this at the moment. I'm very tempted actually to return those. We have no use for these at the moment. And it doesn't cost us quite as much. So... Let's see. Uh, this has a requirement of... It doesn't say. So we will have a look in fertilizer technology. Does it say in here? Uh, no, not really. Uh, no power requirements. So, yeah. Maybe this will run this. Let's see what we have in the way of uh, contracts, though, that we could do. So, oh, wow. Ah, but that is uh, that is something that we may eventually take up. But at the moment, we're not looking to do that. Sewing contracts. Do we have... We have some fairly cheap fertilising contracts. Nothing that's going to bring us in a huge amount of money, though. We would actually be better off... Field 32. Field 23 is the harvest we have. Uh, yeah, just feel Field 32 is, of course, that one there, which I'm very tempted to pick up that harvest as well. Um, 200, yeah, that's not that well paying. But that one would be a good one to, for us to pick up. Um, I think we will accept that and we'll borrow the items for it. And we can do that over the next few. We don't actually have a contract, really, that makes this worth using. Which is a bit of a pain, to be honest. Uh, I really kind of wish we had that. So, we are going to go and get started on that potato contract then, I think, is our best bet. That is worth 29000 That is going to be an absolute boon to us. And is completely unexpected. So, let's head over here. It's, I think it's going to take us a little while, a few days and things to get that going. Uh... Now, harvesting, I think it's harvesting potatoes, this. Yeah, this is. This is a potato harvester. So, this is over on field 12. Field 12 is that one there. So, it is not a small field that we've got this going on. But, we do need to get it going. Fortunately, we're not limited by this. And we should be able to get the lorry, the truck, going on course play for this. So just basically plug away at it. Um, even if this was to take us three days worth of work, 
uh, we would still make a whole load of money on it. So uh, let's head off, uh, get ourselves up to that field and get harvesting these potatoes. Now I think I might have said field 10 uh, when we were heading up here. It is of course field 12. Uh, this is it here. And we did this before. We've, uh, we've. This is one of those fields that we sprayed early on. So this is not a hugely wide bit of kit. Uh, so it is one of those bits that take quite a while to do these jobs with. That is unfolding. There we go, and down, and away we go. So there are, uh, I think there are mods and things out there that that do this job quicker. Uh, we are, yeah, we're just going to keep plugging away at this, I think, for a while. Um, it is a, uh, it is going to be a great contract, but as with everything with potatoes, uh, it is always, always uh, time consuming, and that's why you end up with a lot more money uh, for doing these contracts. The other thing about these contracts, they fill up fast. Wow, we have done a single run of this field and we are already 97% full. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get this 100%. Uh, we're, gonna bring, we're gonna bring the truck up here, get this emptied out. And, uh, and set up a course play course because the most efficient way for us to do this job is absolutely for us to get uh, course play doing it. There we are. We are 100% full. So let's go over here, grab our truck. And so we'll go and uh, fill this up. We'll go and get ourselves a good spot that we can then get the, uh, get the course play started on. Uh, and where are we taking this to is the next thing we should check. So this has got to go to... Uh, this has got to go to Port Southwest. So this is going all the way down there. So it is going to be a case of getting the truck to go around the whole time on this job. So let's get this up to the field. Let's get it emptied. Or let's get our harvester emptied. Uh, and then we can go about setting up this course play course. Now, incredibly, <laughs> everything has happened at once, as it always does around here. So our, whoop, our full harvester is sitting here. But more importantly, is that the, uh, the wet crop icon has disappeared. So while this is emptying, we're going to go and deal with the job. Oh, that is not, that's too far away. Uh, we're going to have to go and deal with the job that we want to get done today. The, the thing that we're really interested in. So we'll let this empty, like so. And we're going to head over to here and get our combine started. So yeah, this is, this is the madness of this, is that... We've got so much going on on here now uh, that we really need to keep this going and uh, and really need to keep everything as we want. Uh, and it's, yeah, as I said, we want to get this combine out of here as quickly as possible now uh, because it is a piece of kit that's going to cost us money. Uh, we've only got, so we are going to tick over, I think, the... Uh, the next sort of level we've got we've had it for 1.6 hours there's no way this combine is going to uh, do us less than uh, 20 minutes now let's just check our header on this 30 foot that's gone to uh, I don't know if that's the right width so we'll get the lines on and that absolutely is not as expected uh, the lines have gone wonky on it again. So we will lower that to, I think it was about 20. So 
So take that down. And back. Yeah, that will do. I'd rather have it slightly smaller than slightly wider. And then we can turn the lines off on the next row. So yeah, it is all go, as always, on our stuff. Uh, it is suddenly, it all starts to go. And there we are. And down with the header. And what we'll do, actually, is we will set a hired worker going on this. So, let's take off that. Start that off and head over to this. So this is empty. What we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna put the hide work on this so that it doesn't, that's not quite so efficient. Uh, and then this, wow, it is, uh, it is not doing that much. So we're gonna run round and do our course play course. What we are doing now is I'm actually gonna, because it's late autumn, I'm gonna slow us down to five times. We can fit more in that way, and we've got the space to do it. So most of the time, I like to run at 15 times uh, doing Seasons from Scratch. But when we have a really busy time, um, we do slow it down a bit. So we're going to start the course recording here. And that way, we can now get this recording, the course play course, uh, that we're going to be using. We are taking a little bit of a risk here because we are running this with traffic still on. So there's a good possibility that we're going to run into an issue. And this is, this is everything suddenly going at once. But that's a good thing. That's not actually a bad thing at all. Pulling into the port now and already our... Uh, already our potato harvester has a full tank so uh, yeah this is this is one of those things where it's going to be really useful having this doing the carting uh, we are in a position I'm not going to tip this this time um, but we are in a position where this is only taking 16% of our harvester each time so it's going to be a pretty close thing to, to maybe only two times this carts off the field but it should be enough to just keep this going and keep the uh, potatoes flowing off the field. Uh, we want to make sure that everything we're doing uh, is just, just, it's just keeping everything running and we can make the most money off it. Right, and here we go. End of our course play course. Now I'm slightly concerned in that there seems to have sort of a left offset on this. Now, is that something that's set on this? I can't see anything. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, so, we are carting off the combine. Uh, we want to find our actual combine, which is the Veritron. Um, and we are driving course. No combine in reach. There we go. So, that is heading off now for the combine. The other thing that's happened while we were doing this was that our this tractor finished. So that's great. What we have here then uh, is a completed contract. This has finished plowing so we can collect that. Absolutely perfect. Uh, and now what we're going to do is head back with this and go and grab our trailer with it so that we can then go and cart with our combine. Back at our farm with our HTZ. Uh, light is beginning to fade. It's five to six. Uh, so I think what we're going to end up doing today is uh, is getting maybe just the, uh, a single load off of our combine. But that should be okay. So we're just going to park. We'll start parking uh, bits of kit like this out of the way. Though that's a fairly big drop there. Let's lower that down. We'll just leave that there. I do need an area really where I can put bits like that. And we'll go and hook up to our trailer. 495 in wage payments. 
Uh, we've got to watch that because it could end up being fairly expensive to do those potatoes. The main reason, though, we're doing those potatoes uh, is to offset the cost of our harvester. So we work with overall, we kind of want our harvester to cost us nothing to use. Um, and, uh, and the combine could end up uh, being fairly expensive, especially as it goes over the next hour. Um, I don't want it to go more than that. Looks like our truck at the moment is trying to get up beside our uh, potato harvester. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I'll go and check that in a minute. But first, we want to head over here. Hopefully, we're going to get our soybeans harvested today. So just over the brow of the hill here is our harvester. Thankfully, has got a full grain tank just before it reached the end of the field. Uh, so we should be able to finish this off today, actually. We should be able to get this field done, which is good. Uh, what is our forecast for tomorrow? So our forecast going into the next day is actually cloudy. So we should get all of our soybeans done over the next two times. Let's head over to our harvester. Yeah, not quite sure what's happening. Ah, I see what's happening here. So, we'll stop this driver. Basically, they are causing each other to uh, dance around. One is trying to avoid the other. And so that is going to position itself. And we can get this driving this course. That, that is now manoeuvring itself. So it's, it's a little bit weird in the, uh, you know, that takes a while to turn around, get stuck in traffic, um, and then sort of causes itself an issue. So that is off and going again. So that's all good. like it's complete so we've got to move this out of the way because we've got a weirdness with this harvester but that's pretty good and fantastic so let's take our combine now and uh, and hopefully we'll be able to run with this fairly well we need to move that over so let's move over our which way is that moving that is moving the correct way there we go. Cars, as always, are getting in the way. But those two are not behaving themselves very well. It's one of those things where I think we may need to uh, abandon the potato harvest, get this done today, um, but it's all set up and good and ready to go. So let's switch over to here. These two are causing a bit of an issue, so we'll stop driver. We will save this course. Uh, F12 potatoes. F12 uh, potatoes. So, those, there we go. Um, stop this, and we'll stop the hide worker on this and we'll come and pick this contract up later once we got this one completed so away we go as we harvest into the evening Combine is sitting at 1.9 hours at this point. We're about to have a large cost from it. Um, yeah, it's it's our money is just going to drop uh, because it does cost a fair amount to have this combine per hour, per running hour. Um, so, uh, yeah, I will come back to you once that's ticked over and uh, and we see how much that's cost us. We 
we are, can we fill this in one row? We might just be able to by the looks of things. So uh, yeah, so this is basically the last row on this field. Got a little bit of, we've left at the corner there. But we're not quite in the right place for it. There we go, that's got it. Uh, and uh, and yeah, this is, uh, this is very tight fitting all of this in this header. Uh, but it is the last row. We've not quite ticked over to that uh, second hour for this combine at the moment. Uh, we are losing a little bit along the edge. As I said, this is tight. Uh, so uh, it's a bit difficult to make sure that we stay in a position that means we get all of it. No, we're not, we're not going to get all of it. So we're not going to try at this point. We'll head back this way. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll do sort of a, a three quarters, and uh, and then there'll be an easy bit, hoping to avoid uh, that ticking over. But it, there we go to the second hour. It has just ticked over, not as horrible as I thought it was going to be. It's taken us down to one thousand five hundred euros, so we're actually still in a really good position. It is getting very dark outside. Um, if I show you this, that is uh, that is quite dark that that is going at the moment. Um, but as usual, as you would in real life, uh, the dew is only just setting in. Uh, so you'd get this at the moment uh, just before it's uh, just before it gets too bad. Uh, round we come, and we can see this. So we're going to get the last of this field in today. We'll get our tractor and trailer back to the farm um but yeah that will uh, that will do good so we got about an hour's worth we've got another hour on here that we can do this it's really interesting to see that it's uh, it's it's quite you know it is that tick over now the money's just dropped again because of a hired worker we did have the hired worker running on this combine uh so that's what that is but we are still in a pretty good position we have a contract uh, we know the combine is not going to, shouldn't cost us that much, even if that contract ticks over to the next hour. However, that contract is only worth 3000 so we've got to be careful. If this combine, I think we're going to have to get rid of this combine uh, and cancel that contract, because that field, field 23, is bigger than both of our fields. Uh, and we are in serious danger of that contract this combine ticking over with that contract and it costing us an absolute fortune um, to do a contract that we, we don't need to do and, and actually don't want to do. So let's get this in here, unload our combine uh, and, uh, and we'll leave the combine down here so that uh, next time what we'll have is uh, it's just to get the combine over the road. We'll get in, lights off, we'll head over to our tractor, and I will take this home. Ah, that's there. We go. That is supposed to be my beams. So a nice dark night. We have 80% full on our trailer. Uh, if you're wondering, I think these are with it. Are these with it? If not, we'll grab them on the way back next time. Uh, harvested. No. Don't know what those are. I would have thought those were with it, but it just seems that the combines missed them. So we'll, uh, we'll pick those up on the way back uh, next time. For now, though, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.